Hi guys, it's Melanie, how are you? I thought I would pop on here real quick and just have a little project today that you can do with just scrap wood that's around your house. We're all stuck at home, trying to think of ways that we can do stuff inexpensively because, you know, it's just stuff that we already have. Oh look, I have sawdust on my face. So, say hi if you come. Um, so what I have is just four boards. You could use any boards, two by fours, whatever. Um, I am cut them into the same size relatively. Uh, let's hope. I'm just going to sand them a little bit just to take off any, um, you know, we don't want splinters, but it's not something that you really need to worry about. Um, you know, you don't need to touch this wood too much, but just take it off around. So I already did some other ones, and I'll show you guys those in the end. But this one, we're going to do four tiers, so it'll be a little bit taller. And so again, just kind of roughing it up. Say hello as you come in. Try to do this as quickly as I can for you guys. What's everybody up to today? Just chilling? Hopefully you're doing okay. All right, so we've got like, you're not gonna get any splinters now, right? I'm gonna think this one's gonna be my top. So I'm gonna take my wood glue and just put a pretty good, decent amount on three of them. We just need these to hold together. They're not, you know, not going to be moved around a lot. So no big deal, but I'm just going to stack them up like this. And this one's going to go on top like that. All right, now how am I gonna do this with it still wet? That's what we need to wonder. So let's see, if I clamp it with this clamp. So ideally you should wait till your wood is, <laughs> your glue's dry. <laughs> but I guess that's just common sense, right? Okay, I messed up. get these suckers straight trickier there we go I try to get them all in the same spot so now we need to try to grab a different clamp so we can hold the rest of them together let's see if this little guy will do that one looks like we need one more so we can move on to the next step here like that one more clamp one more one more and i guess i'm gonna have to use a big one. Oh wait yeah uh, Okay, let's see if we can hold this with this. I could get another board, but oh heck. We're just gonna try it. Live and learn, right? Okay, so if we do that, trying to get it on the crack so they'll stay together. There we go. So now, now we're gonna take this bit here. So this is a pretty cool bit um you can see it has this kind of a shape on it right and we're gonna put on our safety glasses so we don't get wood chips in our face and let's just go here See 
how deep it is. A little deeper. Like that. Let's see, maybe here. Now that we have that done, we're just going to take this. <laughs> Clean up our wood space. Oh, yeah. Love how you stay on the product. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I try to stay focused, right? Okay, so again, ideally this would be dry when you, when you moved on to the next step, but I'm not gonna wait. So, hi, oh, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, Maggie. Yeah, we're, um, New Mexico has great weather. We, we really do. We're we don't get too cold, we don't get too hot, and our winters are very short. So we're already, um, gosh, in the upper 60s, so that's good. Hit a couple 70s days, but it does go back down and then it goes back up, but we're doing it. Okay, so we've got our holes. 85 in Florida. Yeah, well, wow, you're doing great. Okay, so alternative to stain that's always good. DIY waxes work really, really great. Um, man, I wish I would have shut my drawers over here before I did that. Whoops. Um, but DIY waxes work really great for stain. They have zero odor whatsoever and they dry really fast. So whenever I can use them, I try to use them. Um, we're going to be using the dark wax. Um, I can, I've had this can for quite a while. There's not a lot left, but luckily we don't need a lot. So we're just going to stain our wood. We could paint it, um, but I thought for this kind of a natural look is kind of cool. So you can see that it just goes on. And okay, one side. I'll do the bottom later. I don't need to do that right now. Just make it as fast and fast as I can for you guys. And we'll do that side. And you can see how it just grabs onto the wood, which is really cool. It's um you know, and it's gonna grab different woods differently. So you're gonna have variations, but that's okay. One more time. This side's a little bit rougher, so a little bit more in it. Like that. And let's do the top. I don't need to worry about getting down in the holes. So we're just gonna get some on the top here. Just like so. Just let that set for just a second. The longer you let it sit, the longer it's, or the, the more it's gonna dig in there or absorb in the darker it's going to be you can put more than one coat too so that's completely up to you I'm just going to take this little towel and get out out of my holes and for the sake of time we're going to go ahead and move it on so again if i wanted it to be darker i would just leave this set there for a little bit longer maybe half hour 
It's going to absorb more and it's going to get darker and you can always put more layers, whatever you want to do. All right, so next step. Now, so I was at Home Depot and I bought these little tiny succulents and they have kind of a few of them in each hole or in each little thing. So I thought they'd be perfect. Succulents don't need a lot of water. And they actually don't like a lot of water. These ones, they way over watered, so I won't be watering them for a while. Um, and they don't have real deep root systems either. So just a little bit of fresh soil and stick your little dude in there. Oop, last one. We'll leave that one in the other bin, see if it'll get roots for me. We'll pro pro how do you say it? Propagate it? Propagate it? We'll grow new ones. All right, so we just want to gently shove it in. And I suppose if these were to get too big for them, you know, you can always repot them, but they're pretty darn cute the way they are. I'll stick this little guy in there. And shove a little bit more in there. So the DIY wax is just a really good alternative to traditional stain. You know, if I was using regular stain, I would have had to move on or wait, you know, for quite a while. And I would be a little bit afraid of it harming my plants. Um, this is not gonna, it's not gonna harm anything. It's all natural. There's no VOCs and you just don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So I like it for this, for sure. Uh, a little bit more. And we'll just shove that little bad boy in there. Don't want to break the roots, but we don't want any air around the roots either. So you have to be gentle, but find a comfortable medium. Which is hard for me because I'm not really a gentle person. I'm a little aggressive. Everything. Okay. So we've got it all in there. Now, ta-da, all right, so there we go. Our cute little planner took us just a few minutes and we're done, so let's, sorry about that. All right, oh, you don't need skills, you just need wood and a bit, that's it. You can do it. All right, let's move this over here. If you see anything you shouldn't see in my garage, don't look, okay? And that is it. So I made just four tiers. And I think they look really cute together. What do you guys think? Yeah. So make sure you tell me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thought I'd come up with some cute little projects while we're all kind of home. And um, I will be on here again tomorrow to show you guys something else, okay? Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys.